top six best GPU for OVRWATCH in 2023. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best GPU for OVERWATCH in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below and like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is the very first graphics card to launch from the new RTX 4000 series, and it's also the most powerful GPU we've ever tested. In the vast majority of games we tested, it was capable of hitting over 100 out of 4K resolution. It's even more impressive for esports games such as Overwatch 2 as it nearly reached a 500th performance. You can't get these kinds of speeds anywhere else. We also found that the new DLSS 3 software helps to boost frame rates even further for compatible games, allowing for a smoother performance in Cyberpunk 2077 when set to a 4K resolution with ray tracing activated. And while the RTX 4090 is arguably overkill for most gamers, it's a fantastic option for content creators that need to render 3D models at a lightning pace. The RTX 4090 won't be for everyone since it costs an absolute fortune and also has a high power consumption to boot. But if you're craving the fastest performance possible from a graphics card, then this is your very best option. After spending a week benchmarking this behemoth of a graphics card, I have to say that I'm impressed with the 4K gaming performance, especially with ray tracing activated. And with further hardware level improvements made to the likes of DLSS, this is a jaw-dropping debut for the new Loveless generation. Number five, NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti. The NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti certainly isn't the most powerful graphics card of NVIDIA's latest Loveless generation, but still offers a superb 4K performance. In our gaming tests, it was able to achieve over 60 ifs on average for every single game aside from Total War. Warhammer 3, which still saw an impressive 50 ifs result. Such a high performance makes it an even better option compared to the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. That's especially true once you factor in the enhanced ray tracing performance as well as support for DLSS 3.0, which uses artificial intelligence to hike up the frame rate even further for supported titles. It's also a highly efficient graphics card, consuming even less power than its NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti predecessor. This could be significant for those who are wary about high energy costs or simply want to do their bit for the environment. The main sticking point is the price, with the graphics cards generally costing more than £800 slash $800. This means you really need a 4K monitor, or one with an absurdly high refresh rate, in order to get value for money. If you're happy to settle for Quad HD or Full HD gaming instead, check out the NVIDIA RTX 4060 T as a cheaper alternative. NVIDIA opted to increase the CUDA core count on the RTX 4070 Ti at 7680 compared to the RTX 3070 Ti's 6144. The boosted clock speeds also saw a jump, not only thanks to the up CUDA cores, but also the latest architecture. The clock speeds have jumped massively, all the way up to 2.61 GHz on the RTX 4070 Ti, while the RTX 3070 Ti tapped out at 1.77 GHz. The RTX 4070 Ti comes with one memory configuration, 12GB GDDR6X. Number 4. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 If you're not that bothered about 4K or have a 1440 monitor instead, then the NVIDIA RTX 3070 is the best graphics card we recommend to gamers. The card may be a generation behind the latest graphics cards, but it still provides an impressive performance for QHD gaming. During testing, we could not reliably get demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077 running in 4K with ray tracing on and the graphics settings maxed. But with ray tracing off, the card generally performed excellently and proved fantastic value for money. Elden Ring ran smoothly in 1080, 1440, and 4K with zero issue, as did Cyberpunk 2077 and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. However, we found the RTX 3070 generally played games around 15 to 20 slower than the RTX 3080. This meant games, including Cyberpunk 2077 and Control, failed to consistently hit 60 ifs when ray tracing was activated, averaging between 40 50 ifs during our tests. These frame rates are still comfortably playable, but they don't offer the smooth experience you get on the more expensive RTX 3080. The compromise is forgivable as the 3070 also manages to outperform its AMD rival's performance, putting the RTX 3070 head-to-head -head with the slightly cheaper 
AMD RX 6700 XT, the NVIDIA card was constantly temps ahead in our in-game benchmark tests. This adds up to make it our recommended card for a 1440 resolution, anyone who doesn't care about ray tracing in 4K. Number three, NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti. If you're still using 1080 gaming monitor, that most of the RTX 4000 cards are overkill options based on our experience. Instead, we recommend opting for last generation's RTX 3060 Ti. This isn't the cheapest NVIDIA card we've tested, with the RTX 3050 costing considerably less. But the RTX 3060 Ti is the cheapest we've benchmarked to offer reliable post 60 hz performance with ray tracing on in 1080p. The graphics card ran every game in our tests, even with ray tracing activated and their graphics settings maxed out. At 1080p, control zoomed along at 84 fs and Borderlands 3 never dipped below 60 fs As a result, we'd say this is the card to get if you care about ray tracing and other cutting edge features but are still gaming at a 1080p resolution. NVIDIA has since launched the RTX 4060 Ti graphics card, which packs upgraded ray tracing and DLSS performance. However, its raw performance is almost identical to the more affordable RTX 3060 Ti card, making the latter a better value proposition. This makes it a fairly important release for NVIDIA, with it currently being one of the cheapest graphics card of the new generation and the most affordable way to enjoy Ampere's stellar ray tracing performance. But with NVIDIA's performance claims being so bold a mere generation on, you may justifiably be wondering if it rings true with real-world use. We've put the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti thoroughly through its paces, benchmarking it against all the other current generation cards we began remits on at Trusted Review's test lab. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT The AMD RX 6600 XT is our current top recommended card for those on a strict budget. It's the cheapest option in AMD's previous generation and is built on the same RDNA 2 architecture as its more expensive siblings. During our tests, we found the card can't match the performance of NVIDIA's more expensive RTX 3060 Ti, especially when it comes to ray tracing. But for the price, it's still a very capable card for 1080 gaming. Modern games, including Doom Eternal, Destiny 2, and Cyberpunk 2077 all ran over 60 of in our 1080 benchmarks, while FSR compatible titles like Godfall can see the performance boosted even further due to some upscaling smarts. Number 1. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1666 GB While the GTX 1660 Super is technically a budget card, it's still more than capable of delivering great performances. With a boost clock of 1830 MHz, keep Overwatch running at around 235 frames per second on the high setting. I did notice that the frame rate tipped during larger fights, but this is easily taken care of by switching to a lower resolution setting. The GTX 1660 Super comes with 6GB of GDDR6 RAM, which is around twice as fast as GDDR5. Combine this with the GPU's 88 texture mapping units, and it's pretty much guaranteed that all the graphics in Overwatch are rendered extremely fast. Finally, this graphics card comes with NVIDIA's Ansel software that allows you to capture in-game screenshots and share them. It even allows you to create 360 degree shots. This is the top six best GPU for OVERWATCH in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.